Hey guys, John Lasko, Alaska's Decoys. I want to do a quick video for you guys. Um, I want to show you basically how to tune your decoys. Um, pike hit them all the time. Uh, you're going to end up with bent fins. I mean, you're going to have fins way up here. You know, I mean, it's going to happen. Um, some guys, uh, you know, some decoys uh, really have their fins come into play when it, when, uh, you know the swimming aspect so what I'm going to show you guys is the different variations of what can happen with your decoys and how easy it really is to actually make them swim how you want them um, you know especially coming from me all my decoys are weighted um, with the the fins to sit level um, and a little bit of tweak in the back um, that'll give you more less of a nose dive than you would normally have if they're completely straight um, and that's just uh, one way that I do my decoys um, but it's an easy fix or if you get a, get, get a decoy from anybody basically and um, you know they like to nose dive a little bit play with the fins a little bit now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to bend all these fins back a little bit straighter they're going to be down a little bit so you guys can see that basically level like this so you, you'd be surprised at how much that just that little bit can actually affect the decoy um, we'll go ahead and give this guy, you know, make sure that, you know, it's sitting level or very, very close. Everyone's just a titch different, uh, play with variation and, and putty and, uh, stuff like that. So, but, uh, this is one I just got done waiting not that long ago, but we'll let it go here. See a little bit of nose dive. Um, and then, it, it, you know, when you give it a good swim, you see how that's kind of making a little bit of a nose dive. Um, one thing I like about my decoys and the way that I weight them is I make sure that um, through different variations um, they're always going to swim downward and forward um, and it's just the way I weight them. Uh, you can have a really uh, saggy tail, uh, say a little bit of water gets in the very end here, um, but now I take care of that problem. Um, they're really nice and smooth and don't absorb nowhere near <clears throat> as much paint and water. Um, as basically as they used to uh, you know just trial and error but uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these back fins here and I'm actually gonna turn this part up just a little bit see that just like that I'm gonna go around do that same thing to the other side just bend that up a little bit so basically now you're looking at something like that now we're gonna go ahead and give this a swim just watch how much different this is Kind of do the same thing here. So just let them kind of start out up here and then just let them go. See, there's more of a glide there. It's not a huge difference, but look how much better that glide is there. You're going to get that, especially, uh, you know, tweaking those back fins a little bit. Um, so if you probably get your decoy, especially my decoys, um, give, give those back fins a try. Um, just a little tweak, you know, uh, it doesn't take much. To really get them to swim really really nice again um, after a lot of abuse by the pike um, you, can get them, you know and say like this guy he's jumping up a little too too much so you see how much bend I put in that just take a little bit of that out where it's just a gradual gradual bend up and that'll even change it even more to the point on where you want it now that's nice about adjusting a decoy uh, a lot of people don't think you can adjust a wooden tail decoy but you really can do quite a bit um, and now you see it's not jumping up as much as you know when I'm actually jigging on the stick so gives it more of that glide that you really want uh, compared to just a nose diving decoy or a decoy that uh, hardly wants to keep his momentum going forward so basically it's just a little tip um, that I can show you guys um, you know after you know even shipping can sometimes you know tweak a fin a little bit but um, right out of the box mine are normally ready to go um, you don't have to worry about anything so but that's that and this one's got to do some filling left and uh, fin gaps and start the fun process of painting so hopefully you guys enjoy the video